Okay, here is our project of the day. We are going to chalkboardize this wall in our breakfast nook. It is just about as tall as I can reach and all the way to the floor. This is located between the kitchen. This is what the room looks like. It's very, very small. And then there's the dining room, the rest of the house. I have shot many a video. Actually, I shot most of my pregnancy vlogs facing this pantry door. So we are going to use this space for uh, menu planning, have our weekly menu and whatever other notes, and then we want it to go all the way down so that Alice can use the bottom to play. So I have taped off the area with painter's tape, and we are gonna make our own chalkboard paint. I'll show you how to do that. All right, here are our materials. You wanna use any interior latex paint, we have a bunch of paint left over from other painting products we've done in the house, so um, I'm going to make a custom color that's uh, a mix of those two. It should come out looking something like that. And then we need non-sanded grout. So this package, um, it's unsanded or non-sanded grout. This cost me $8. In the store they were selling quarts of chalkboard paint for over $10, and that was sort of pre-mixed, but then you only had a choice of 12 colors. So the big advantage to, uh, besides the cost, is the fact that you can be, you can totally customize this and make, you know, make your color. So I'm going to go ahead and mix my color in this. I'm just going to eyeball it about halfway because we're looking for a cup of paint to two tablespoons of grout. So I'll mix that up and show you what it looks like. Okay, so our turquoise and navy gave us this color, and this has the grout in it. It looks a little rough, but that's fine. And I'm just going to brush on the first coat. You can use a brush or a roller. Okay, so you can see how that is starting to go on. I think I'm going to have the perfect amount of paint. So that one cup is going to cover, this space is about, I don't know, 8 by 2 feet. So about 16 square feet. And I should have mentioned beforehand, I did prep the wall. I washed it and dried it. Um, if you're using a really light color for the chalkboard, you may want to prime it with white. Um, but I don't really care <laughs> for mine. I'm going to also use more than one coat, so right now I'm not real worried about brush strokes or um, anything like that. Hi, Alice. What do you think? Okay, so our tuck board is done. It took two coats of the blue paint. I was pretty generous with it, so there were two thick coats. And then we just did a little bit of a border. So the last thing to do is to cover the entire chalkboard in chalk um, to condition it. So, <laughs> okay, I'm going to try with another piece. But basically, so you just cover the whole thing and then wipe it off and then you're good to go. Um, and use it and write on it, whatever. Okay, so here it is all covered in chalk. So the very last step is we installed these drawer poles. They're actually like the kind you would install um, on dresser drawers or something, uh, reversed. So we flipped them up so that you could put chalk inside. And it was a little bit tricky because I wanted to find ones that just um, screwed in on either side since we're, you know, we can't get behind this woodwork. But um, we ended up having to use adhesive and glue this one on because I couldn't find any that had front uh, screw access. So when Alice gets a little bit older, we're gonna put another cup lower down here for her, um, you know, that she can reach. Uh, but for right now, don't really need it. But here we go, there's our finished project. And as you can tell, we've been using it. So two final thoughts about this project. First of all, um, if you can tell on our chalkboard, th the surface is still really rough um, because we have stucco walls on the inside, um, we don't have drywall, so chances are your wall is going to end up being a lot smoother and your writing is going to be much smoother. Um, because we want to be able to repaint that at some point and have it the same as the rest of the house, I tried not to fill in all of the, the roughness. So um, it is more uneven than, than yours would probably be. Second is um, I had thoughts about the grout since that's the big expense in this project if you already have some paint to use. Um, you know, you may be able to ask around and if you or somebody you know has recently done any sort of kitchen or bathroom like tile work, they may have some non-sanded grout you could borrow since you need such a small amount. 
Um, if not, you could go in on a package with somebody and split it because there is plenty to use for every... You could chalkboard eyes just about everything <laughs> and still have grout left over. So this is going to last you a long time and you'll be able to share it with people and spread out the cost that way. So um, I hope you like the project. Let me know if you have any questions.